In this tutorial, we will try to explain the use of dynamic text extension within Contact Form 7. So with dynamic text extension, you can get dynamic data within Contact Form 7 and use this data to track different pages, track the user info and so on, uh, dynamically. So if here is an example. So here you can see on this form, we get the current page URL on the form field automatically. Then get the blog info within the post title. We also get the post title as a hidden field here. So if you inspect, you can see we have that hidden field here. And we also have some author and user nickname and email address, which you will show for a logged in user. So let me show you. So when I have a logged in user, you can see my author name, my nickname and email. So that's how it works. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, you need to go to your dashboard plugins and install contact from seven and ultimate add-ons for contact from seven. Uh, for this tutorial, I would recommend you also install advanced custom fields as well, because we'll be showing how to use the custom fill data through our dynamic text extension plugin. So how to install our plugins, a link of a video should pop up on top of this video by now. Now you need to go to ultimate add-ons, all add-ons, and look for dynamic text and enable this plugin. So we already had this enabled. Now we go to add new form and name this form, let's say dynamic, and we hit save. Now let's publish the form first. we publish this now view the page so as you can see we have a typical form here so let's remove some of the not needed fields here so for the dynamic text you don't need to use our options on the below because most of the options are here on the editor so let me copy this build and paste here and in this dynamic and we move this work and then we add dynamic field. So on the dynamic field, we have first of all the visibility option. So you can show a field, disable a field and hide a field. We will show you all the three options. And on the choose field, we, you can see we have all these options which you can get through the dynamic field. And there are also dynamic keys which are available to the choose and field. So we'll go through each of this one by one. First of all, let me show a show field and the current key URL and insert and save. So if we reload, here you can see we get the this URL here and user can edit the URL and submit. But if we use the hidden field, then as you add hidden so if we use the hidden field now the url is, is hidden so if i'm as a user submitting the form i'm not saying that there is a field here we can you can always remove this this title and add only the field and if i submit oh so we didn't sorry we didn't configure the mail so you need to add this tag on the main here. So we save. Now let's uh, let's also remove that title for TIT. So here you can see we have only these two fields now. So user doesn't know that there is a hidden field here where we can get the URL. So what's the purpose? The purpose is like you want to know from which page this form came from. So if, if I submit, and now if I go to my email address, so here you can see we get their URL of the page. So all the front end user doesn't know that there is a field there, but as of that bin, we get from which URL this uh, submission came from. So that's one thing. Now let's show you some other fields. Now let's go back to our form and play with our other fields. 
So on the same field, we also have the option for visibility disabled. So if we write disabled, and it's save. So now we have the URL field, but it cannot be edited by the user. So it's totally disabled. So that's the field visibility option. So with the field visibility option, you can play around with our parent field options. So these three can be merged together. So for the sake of this video, I'm just using the show key to show each of the options how it works. So let's say I want to pass a query string and get the data of the query string or the URL. See so if I insert here, and on here, let's say I'm passing a query string. And if I go to this page, so as you can see, it's now getting the query string on the, UR, on the field. Similarly, let's try some other options. Let's say we want to get the blogging for which is basically the website name. See if I save, as you can see, we get the website name here, which is under the settings general website name. Now, what if I want this tagline or something else? So if you go to our docs and click dynamic text and click dynamic the example here, you will get all these keys which you can pass through dynamic keys. For example, for the blog name, if we want to get the blog tagline, all we have to do is let's say on the dynamic text, we choose blog info and here you need to add the description and insert. Now, if we hit save, we should see the tagline. So as you can see, we have the tagline. So similarly, if we want to pass, let's say we have to get the current user information and the user email. So what we will do is we go here, we select current user info, and here we pass user email. And we save, we reload, as you can see, we get by email. So that's how the dynamic key works. Uh, so similar way you can get all these data, just read our documentation, we have in, uh, added everything. Now let me show you how to use the power of custom fields and how to get the, task, get the custom fill data. Uh, so for the custom field, as we said, we need to add or install ACF. So within ACF, if you go here, so as you can see, we have created this field group and we added this field group on a page. Let's add this on a page template, default template and hit save. Now, if we go to our page, as you can see, we have these two fields. Now, let me name these fins, Charles Brown. And we add a description of the author here and we hit save. Now we want to get these two that are on the front end of this page. So what we have to do is we come here, we select dynamic text. Um, before that, let me remove this one. And let's say uh, we want to show both author name and author description. So we name this author name and this is author description. So here on the dynamic text, we select custom fields and on the dynamic key, we need to get first get the page ID. So this is the page ID 61258. We add this and on the slash, we go to the field group and we copy this name and we test this here. We insert. Similar way, we do this for the author description. So we choose custom fields. We paste the 
sorry. Or, or description. And we need to get the page ID, which is 61258. 61258 slash my answer. Now hit save. Now let's check our page. As you can see, we have the author name and author description for this page. And if we edit anything here and hit save, here, we said it. So as you can see, the power of dynamic text extension add-on, where you can get any field on your form dynamically and pass these fields through various platforms to your dashboard and so on with the power of our other adults like webhooks, pre-populate fields, and so on. So that's basically it. Um, let us know in the comments if you have any questions.